showing up at night. So at seven o'clock, still checking light rain from Chaparral to the El Paso area. Then by five o'clock, we'll see a second round, but this is primarily southeast of the El Paso area. Then by the overnight hours, I think we'll still remain under mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies. Then we're jumping straight to your Fat Tuesday forecast because that's when our rain chances the next round will roll through the El Paso area. Even seeing some moderate rain out west around Deming, Silver City, and then it all shifts north, likely hitting the Las Cruces area at seven o'clock. So again, this will cause some slick roadways. We're breezy right now, and I think the breezy winds will continue today, tomorrow, before we jump to Wednesday. So at six o'clock, we're seeing gusts at 41 miles per hour in Las Cruces. El Paso, we're at 40 miles per hour. We're just getting started at six o'clock because at nine o'clock, this model does show wind gusts at 51 miles per hour, Las Cruces, 53 El Paso. And then as we get closer to the afternoon hours after 11 o'clock, the high winds become even stronger around 67 miles per hour in Ruidoso. We're at 60 Las Cruces, close to 60 here in El Paso. This is at lunchtime. Then by three o'clock, the end of the school day, this model is showing wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour. So that will be our next focus, the high winds on Wednesday. We're at 67 in El Paso, 55 Tornillo, and still seeing gusty winds through seven o'clock. So it is safe to say that the winds will be very high on Wednesday. So that's why we're under the first alert. We'll still be tracking light rain this afternoon through tonight and through tomorrow. Again, that'll be later in the day once you get your Fat Tuesday celebration started. 68 El Paso, we're at 63. That's gonna be the high today in Las Cruces. So temperature wise, it's gonna be comfortable, but we're still under cloudy skies.